Our next presenter is Ina Martinez y Surita, who has a study on the effect of distractor groups in triple conjunction in, vis in visual search. Thank you, Kate. Uh, so, good evening, everybody. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the final RSI presentation. So, yeah, I'm going to talk in the research I've been doing the past four weeks in the field of cognitive science. Concretely, I've been working. Oh. I've been working in uh, something called Bizzle Search, but first of all, what's Bizzle Search? Okay, so I hope that everybody in, that, in, in this room knows what that is. So look at the teeny man, where is Waldo? Um, so this is uh, one example, actually, of a Bizzle Search task. You have to look for a concretely object in, an, in a display, looking around the image. But actually, this is a kind of hard example for visual search because like, you can spend maybe two minutes, maybe three days, maybe four years looking for Waldo. So uh, let's find an easier example. So look for Harvard Medical School. Everybody found it kind of easy. Uh, so here, uh, the logo of Harvard Medical School would be what we call our target is the object that we have to look for. And all the logos of Bir Birmingham and Women's Hospital would be the distractors. So the number of distractors that we have in the display is what we call the set size. So, but let's look at another example. Try again, look for Harvard Medical School and this orientation. Everybody found it? Maybe something, someone like thought, oh, it's not that hard, but did you find the second one? Okay, I'm mean, very small, smart people, good. Um, so yeah, this is two examples of visual search tasks. The first one is very easy. You spend like zero seconds looking for the target. The time you spend looking for a target is what we call the reaction time. And the other task is a very hard search. You have to look into the display, guide your attention. But we're interested in the searches in between, which is the triple conjunction searches. Triple conjunction comes from that to identify our target, we, ha we had three features that distinguish the target among the distractors. But let's see an example. Oh, okay. Find a green till a double. Everybody found it? I hope so. Um, so this is not that hard also because you ha we have the three features, the color, the shape, and the orientation. And we can like focus our attention just in the green uh, items. And then we focus our attention in the green oval items. And finally, when we found the green oval and oriented item, bam, we found the target. But our question is actually, um, in these two displays, our target is the red vertical rectangle. So look for the red vertical rectangle. So our question is, OK, do you think that these two displays are equally um, hard to find a display. So, uh, OK, let's go. Who thinks the top one going to be easier? OK, who thinks the bottom one is going to be easier? OK, so the people who choose the top one, congratulations, you're a very good project of cognitive scientists. The ones who pick the harder, I'm sure you can be cognitive scientists too. Um, but our question is not just which one is harder, but also why. How can we explain that? Oh, well, first of all, um, this is not just a matter of like both. We actually prove it. In this graph, you can see the reaction time in this axis in milliseconds and the set size, because in experiment, we can vary the set size. And so the harder condition, you spend more time looking for the target than in the easier condition with this more efficient search. So um, here you have a list of like the ingredients to make a triple conjunction display. The thing is that the two displays I show you had the same basic features. They have all one third of red, one third of blue, one third of green, and so on. So if the basic features are the same, how can we explain this difference in the reaction times? So um, if you look at the displays, do you have any ideas of what can cause this difference? Maybe someone like smart has seen, oh, look, in this one we have like really nice groups. All the blue things are rectangle and um, uh, horizontal. All the green things are like with a weird shape and vertical. And here, this is kind of a mess. So 
most of the people, when they, you ask them, why do you think the easier one is actually easy? And they say, oh, look, you, we can see uh, nice groups. So one of the explanations that we we'll look for to explain that is the grouping. So the easier one, you have groups. In the harder one, you don't have like any um, logical relation in the destructors. But there's also another condition that we have to take account of, which is the sharing. Uh, since we are um, performing a triple conjunction puzzle search task, um, our target can share zero features, one feature, or two features with our destructors. What that means that, for example, if here the target is this thing, this, with this destructor the target shares the color and the shape, here it shares the shape and the orientation, and so on. So the thing is that maybe in the the harder condition, we have uh, the structures that share zero that are completely different from the target, the structures that share one feature, and the structures that share two. While in the easier condition, all of the structures share just one feature. The thing is that maybe in the harder condition, we have like the structures sharing two features. That means that are more similar with the target. So maybe like we spend more time looking at these structures while we decide whether they are the structure or a target. So to look at that, we made our experiment. In our experiment, we tested five displays, five kinds of displays. Here, you can see it. So these two displays have three groups of destructors. The top one, all the destructors had one feature, share one feature. So if this is the destructor, red rectangle, vertical. They share the shape, they share the orientation, and they share the color. In the bottom one, we have also three groups, but the destructor shares zero, one, or two features. So if here we have the target, this destructor shares nothing, it's completely different. This shares just the shape, and this shares the orientation and the color. Here you can see also we have another two conditions with uh, 12 groups of destructors. Also, again, the bottom one, the, all this, the destructors share just one feature, and the um, the, oh no, the bottom, oh my god, I get confused, sorry. Um, <laughs> so, in the, in the top one, all the destructors share one feature, and in the bottom one, all the destructors share zero, one, or two features. And also we add like the original hard condition where all the destructors are different from the target, and between itself, of course. So what we did was uh, we had our subject, the person who was performing the experiment, and we put our subject in a very dark, creepy room with a computer and asked him to take a mouse and click in a screen as fast and as currently as possible to the target when the display shows in the screen. So what we did is uh, record the reaction time that the, the subject spends since uh, the display appears in the screen until he or she clicks on the target. And what we get is this nice graph here. Again, if you, uh, we have the reaction time in this axis, milliseconds also again. And here we have the set size because we tested two set sizes. So, well, uh, the colors match, so if you have like a favorite uh, display, you can like look at the reaction times or something. But uh, what these results actually show us is that, first of all, we were mistaken. All the people, uh, like, you think, oh, look at the groups, but actually the thing that affects more our reaction times is the sharing. Which, uh, here we can see that the conditions with more items sharing two features, which means the conditions with more items similar to the target are harder. We spend more time looking for the target. And the ones that are more efficient are the ones with uh, all the items sharing just one feature. Also, but it's not just the sharing that has an effect, but also we can see a smaller effect of grouping. Um, if just the sharing had an effect, this condition, which is the three groups of the structure sharing zero, one, or two, would have the same reaction times as the 26 destructors and the 12 uh, destructors sharing zero, one, or two, because the number of destructors sharing two features is the same. But because of the three groups, it's the only difference that we have, um, it's kind of more easy.